Earlier this year, we brought you five boutique bike brands, small independent manufacturers making incredible bikes that we thought you should know about. We got hundreds of comments under that video telling us about countless other brands we should also check out. So, here are six more boutique brands that you should know about. In many ways at the moment, cycling can seem synonymous with Colombia. Just take a look at the podium of any Grand Tour. But have you ever thought about buying a Colombian bike? Well, now you can, thanks to Scarab Bikes. Scarab are named for the Scarab Beetle and the nickname of Escabajo, given to the Colombian climbers that burst onto the global cycling scene in the 1980s. Based just outside of Medellin, Scarab are made up of seven industry veterans who decided that they just wanted to make bikes that were, above all, fun to ride. As you might expect for a Colombian brand, Scarab, of course, produce a lightweight climber's bike, the Letras, and they also make three other drop bar bikes. The Paramo, their disc brake all road model, the Santa Rosa, a disc brake thoroughbred race bike, and the Linear a stunning traditionally lugged road bike. They're all made from steel and are finished with some very lovely and distinctly Colombian paint jobs that Scarab produce in a collaboration with Latin America's leading paint manufacturer. Off to the Czech Republic now for our next company. We're looking at Feska Bikes. Feska was founded in 2010 in the Czech capital of Prague. From very early on, Feska started working with Compotech, a Czech company that specialises in filament winding carbon fibre tubes. These tubes give Feska's carbon bikes their stunning look when they're unpainted. Their paint jobs, though, are certainly very special. Just take a look at this gorgeous Spectre, Fesca's super stiff race bike. But Fesca don't just make carbon fiber bikes. They also have steel, titanium, and the Doppler frame, which is made from carbon and titanium. But instead of producing it in the standard way of connecting carbon fiber tubes with titanium lugs, Fesca have titanium tubes with carbon lugs. They even made a very special version of the Doppler using aluminium tubes they recycled from around 995 old Nespresso capsules. And if that wasn't cool enough, they've even auctioned that bike off to raise money for a local youth charity. Over to the USA now to take a look at some very cool gravel bikes from Allied. Allied first stepped into the gravel game with the Alpha All Road, an adaptation of their already popular Alpha Road bike. But this summer, they unveiled the Abel, which is a pretty crazy looking bike, to be honest. To get more tyre clearance, Allied have moved the drive side chainstay, which we see a lot on modern gravel bikes. But instead of shifting it downwards like the 3T Explorer or Pinarello Greville, Allied have significantly raised up the chainstay, which gives it a really unmistakable look. But looking cool doesn't really mean much if the bike doesn't work, and Allied proved pretty comprehensively that their bike worked when they took both the men's and women's wins at Dirty Kanza 2019. How about some gorgeous titanium for you now? Titanium is a real favourite material of boutique frame builders, and for good reason. If you want a bike that is going to be light, stiff and comfortable, but can genuinely last a lifetime, titanium is probably the material for you. And despite being a reasonably new company, number 22 bikes are already making some of the coolest titanium bikes out there. Just take a look at this stunning Aurora disc brake road bike. That won best in show at the 2019 North American Handmade Bike Show. Number 22 teamed the mostly titanium frame with a carbon fiber integrated seat tube and seat mast and finished it off with some amazing anodized logos. And if those colors don't do it for you, number 22 have 10 different anodized finishes available. The Aurora is number 22's top of the range all round road bike and fits into an impressively varied range of eight other bikes, including a hardtail mountain bike, a track bike, 
and a proper gravel race bike. Number 22 have some lovely understated elegant frames, but how about something a little louder? These are squid bikes from Northern California. The company started life, in their own words, as a group of cyclocross miscreants spray-painting bikes in their own garages. And they've kept that really great raw feeling about them. One of the ways they've done that is by painting all of their bikes with spray dot bike spray paint. They have a number of pretty crazy stock paint job options, like this torn tape option. And if you can't decide on which paint job you want, you can even ask Squid to paint your bike. However, they paint what they want with their paint job roulette. And also really encourage their customers to paint their own bikes if they want, shipping them as just raw frames. It's not just cool paint though, Squid produce some proper race-ready cyclocross frames and their team riders compete in cyclocross World Cups. Moving down under now to look at Prova Cycles from Adelaide. Prova are a brand that we first spotted at the Bristol Bespoke Bike Show where they actually won Best in Show with this incredible Speciale. The Speciale is predominantly made from steel with a carbon seat tube. Many frame builders would simply buy a stock carbon seat tube, but Mark Hester at Prova actually makes the seat tube himself in-house. That's not it though, with the Prova Speciale. The seat tube lug and the dropouts are 3D printed from steel and Hester actually designs the parts himself before having them manufactured by Ram 3D, or RAMD, an industry leader in additive manufacture. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some truly stunning bikes and if you have, please give this video a thumbs up. And I know there are still many boutique brands that we haven't covered. So I'd love to read your suggestions and recommendations down in the comments below.